We want to welcome you to our city commission regular meeting. We ask that you turn off or silence all cell phones. Meetings are televised every day on channel 2 at 7 p.m. and at midnight and also available for viewing on YouTube. At this time, we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance followed by silent meditation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll have a proclamation. <clears throat> The Leavenworth Public Schools Education Foundation believes that all parents and community members can participate with the school district to enrich public education, and the foundation seeks to encourage all students to work to their highest potential by providing opportunities for unique educational experiences. And the foundation encourages Leavenworth Unified School District number 453 teachers to implement innovative instructional strategies by funding original programs and projects and the foundation is resolved through the administration of its gifts to support education in the Leavenworth Unified School District, number 453. Now, therefore, I, Jermaine Wilson, mayor of the city of Leavenworth, Kansas, hereby proclaim the week of September the 30th through October the 4th, 2019, as Leavenworth Public Schools Education Foundation. <laughs> How are you all? Thank you so much for having us tonight. This is always an exciting time, and this year especially because we are celebrating 20 years of giving back to the community. Oh, okay. That is just, in my mind, phenomenal. It's a, a testament to this community, and what we do every day for students in the Leavenworth schools is just remarkable. And it's not just about the money. You know, we are a fundraising organization. It's not about the money so much as, as it is about the impact for students. We allow students to soar in STEAM activities. We provide books for students that might not otherwise have them. We help open doors and experiences for students that they might not otherwise have. So we really are, we kind of consider us the icing on the district budget cake. And so it's a pleasure to serve our community. And we just appreciate the partnership with, with Leavenworth and, and uh, appreciate you all acknowledging our work. I would love to share, along with our exciting news of 20 years of giving, uh, here next week, next Thursday, uh, October 3rd, the Leavenworth Schools Education Foundation is bringing in the world-famous Harlem Wizards basketball team. And uh, your center folk there in the middle, Mayor Jermaine Wilson, will be our referee for that game. The Wizards will be playing a wonderful uh, collection of Leavenworth Elementary and Middle School teachers. Uh, Mayor, do you remember the name of our team? The Leavenworth Blue Crew, right? The Leavenworth yeah. Blue Crew, that's the name of our team. So it is absolutely <laughs> sure to be a great time. Anyone in the community is welcome. Tickets will be available at the door. Again, that's next Thursday, October 3rd at Leavenworth High School in the main gym. Uh, tickets are available in the schools if you choose to get them ahead of time. At the door, they will be $12 for students and $15 for adults. We welcome and encourage and invite everyone to attend. So more good stuff. Every day we're working for students, and thank you all for the recognition. What time? What time? 6.30 tip-off. Doors okay, open at 5.30. Lots of fun. Right. I have all a right. question. Is, yes. Has the Blue Crew been practicing, or are oh, they going to go into what? the game they, cold? They are practicing in their own right, and okay. they're going to come together. It's <laughs> going to be amazing. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> thank you guys so right. much. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Old business, consideration of previous meeting minutes. If there's no questions, at this time I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve minutes from September 10th, 2019, regular meeting. I'll second the motion. Motion has been seconded. Begin voting with Commissioner Bowder. Aye. 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 Motion carried, 5-0. Uh, next item on the agenda, new business, citizen participation. is open up for any citizens who would like to discuss anything that is not on the agenda. 
Now, moving on. Uh, general items, request for parking lot closure northeast corner of Cherokee Street and South 2nd Street. City Clerk Color Williamson will handle this item. Uh, Mayor and Commissioner, this is a request for uh, a, closer, a closure of a portion of one of the city uh, municipal parking lots. Um, it's that section um, on Cherokee Street of that um, parking lot directly behind um, uh, 203 Delaware Street. So, um, officially, actually, it's in front of uh, First City Wine and Spirits. Right. Um, so, they are requesting a closure of that um, for the Leavenworth Cruisers car show that's going to be held on Saturday, October 26th. They're asking that we close that um, at 8 p.m. on Friday evening so that um, when they for Saturday morning so that there's no cars parked there and they have room to park the, the cars for the car show. Um, so that is the request before the commission. We have Mr. Mark Herzog here this evening if you have any additional questions on that closure. Any questions? I, is this an annual event or semi-annual? Well, this is the first time we've done it. We, we're a new store. We opened in March, so we're just trying to get attention to the store. We figured that would be a good way to do it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, okay. There's no questions, sure. though. Entertain a motion. I, go ahead. I move that we approve closing a portion of the parking lot at the northeast corner, Cherokee Street and South 2nd Street, from 8 p.m. Friday, October 25th, 2019, to 5 p.m. Saturday, October 26, 2019. Second. Motion has been seconded. Begin voting with Commissioner Parsinger. Aye. 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 Motion carried, 5 0. Sounds like great. Good Sounds event. great. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Next item on the agenda. Consider transit merchant license for Gypsy Aces Haymarket Square. This will also be our city clerk. Mayor and Commissioner, this is a request uh, by Gypsy Aces. They've submitted an application um, to the city clerk's office to have a motorcycle swap meet at Haymarket Square. They've reserved that through the um, Parks and Recreation Department. Um, but because they are having a swap meet, they um, are going to be selling new and used motorcycle parts along with it, so that would fall under the requirement to get a transient merchant um, waiver to allow them to do that since it is on city property. Um, we have two gentlemen here this evening, Carl Strickler and Mr. Palmer. Ralph Palmer. And Ralph Palmer. Um, if you have any additional questions for them on that. As always, the city clerk's office um, does work with the vendor and make sure that they are aware that they have to get um, sales tax certificates for anyone who's doing the sale of product and that that is um, uh, reported to the Kansas Department of Revenue. What's the hours of your s swap meet? S uh, is that 6 to 2? Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. 6 to 2 is when we have it reserved for when okay. we set that from 6 to 8. It'll actually be going from 8 to around 2. September what is a motorcycle swap meet? What is that? Uh, people bring their used parts they want to get rid of, new parts. Uh, we have some vendors coming in bringing some stuff. This first year we've done this. We do a motorcycle show every year down there. Uh, we do a, uh, a dog run every year that we donate the money to the dog pound. And then usually we use our bike show money for our Toys for Tots so at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. This year our bike show was before, toys for, before the dog run, so we ended up putting all the money at the dog run. So we're doing this so we have money to donate for the Toys for Tots at the end of the year. That's great. That's good. Now, is your business Gypsy Aces, is that? It's a motorcycle club. It's not okay. really a business. We're a nonprofit. Oh. Okay, got it. This is on Sunday. That's good. Yeah, I was worried about the farmer's market, so it's on a Sunday, so we're okay. Okay. You bring great. A lot of people, Sounds lot great. Of people come in because they, uh, they travel all around. People, yes. motorcyclists, they're... Aficionados look for that special part for a hmm. 71 Yamaha or something wow. like that. I know. Yeah, you'll do well if the weather holds. But in some, <laughs> but uh, you've got the overhang, so Haymarket Square is a great place to do it. You got any parts for mopeds? You got a Harley, Vespas. Harley moped? Do you? <laughs> Vespas. <laughs> a Harley no, moped. I appreciate it though. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah wish I you the best. Good for yeah. it. 
There's no other questions or comments. I entertain a motion. Mr. I'm, Mayor. Oh, go ahead. Mr. Mayor, I move that we uh, approve the transient merchant license for Gypsy Aces for Haymarket Square on September 29th as presented. I'll second it. Motion has been seconded. Begin voting with Commissioner Bowder. Aye. 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 Motion carried. 5-0. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good, good luck. luck. Thank you very much. Have, good you. Have fun. Next item on the agenda, approve purchasing policy. Mr. Mayor and Commission, the uh, city staff brought some uh, proposed changes to the procurement policy to a, a recent study session um, and then brought them back uh, this evening. Um, there's been no changes since the presentation. Uh, if there's any questions about the changes, I uh, would be happy to ask, uh, answer those questions. We have our finance department director and deputy director here tonight uh, if you have any specific questions. Uh, Mr. Mills, first of all, I think it's a good document. It's comprehensive, well written. My, my concern is I think there's still some cleanup that needs to be made in terms of when you discuss RFPs and, and proposals that come from the, the firms that are submitting their proposals to the RFP. To me, it's not as clear as it needs to be. Sometimes those two terms are used synonymously. So I'm ready to approve this document tonight, but I would just like pages 20 to 24 pretty much uh, just review those and, and just make sure that what we're writing is clear because there is a difference between an RFP being issued by the city and then the, and then the firms, they're not submitting an RFP back, they're submitting a proposal in response to the RFP. Okay. So, and, and that's my input. Uh, that's the only part, place I see that uh, really needs some cleanup. Hmm. We'll update the language. All right, any other comments? There's none, I'll entertain a motion. I move that we uh, approve, uh, adopt, adopt the purchasing policy as presented. Second. Motion has been seconded. Begin voting with Commissioner Parsinger. Aye. 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 Motion carried, 5-0. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Uh, next item on the agenda, resolutions. Uh, resolution B, 2234, Consolidated Annual Performances and Evaluation for CDBG. Mr. Mayor and Commission, we have uh, four housing items coming up, or four um, HUD-related items coming up. The first one will be handled by Mary Dwyer, Community Development Coordinator. You guys are lucky tonight. Housing, housing, housing. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I'm here um, representing the Community Development Block Grant. Um, every year we're required by the federal government to do the Consolidated Annual, annual Performance and Evaluation Report which is HUD's way of gauging what we've done for the year. Um, this year, uh, we had several areas that we worked in as we do each year. We did home repair, which we provide for low moderate income families or individuals who need assistance with their homes, their homeowners. Um, we will provide up to $5,000 um, on a sliding scale for those repairs. This year we did 26 of those repairs uh, as opposed to last year when we did 20. Um, on the other side of the coin, it seems like these two go up and down correspondingly. Last year we had more home ownership um, uh, program participants. This year we've had five. Um, uh, and so we'll work harder at trying to get those numbers up. We had four demolitions of dangerous structures, and then we had a fifth one that kind of lapsed into the next year. So we can still pay for that with the funds. Um, and then we also paid funds to public service agencies, and we served 7,292 people with some of those funds. Um, <clears throat> So that's, that's the bulk of those funds. We also have a, an emergency solutions grant, which is issued through the state that provides um, homelessness uh, services. There's homelessness prevention. Um, and we had two families that participated in that, nine people. Um, that gets them kind of started from zero forward. And then rapid rehousing, we also had some folks in there, and the total for the two of them was 23 individuals. Um, I'd be glad to answer any questions about our program. 
question. If, How does yes. the homeless prevention program work? Um, we we are we get funds through the state, uh -huh. uh, and we apply in behalf of agencies. This year and last year, we applied in behalf of Catholic Charities. They get those funds, and they do two programs. One's called Homeless Prevention, and that's for people who are about to be homeless, um, either due to utilities or rent or um, some kind of issue that they've got going on. Um, and the other one is rapid rehousing. That's for people who actually became homeless. And um, it's trying to help them uh, get feet underneath them and back into housing as quickly as possible. So um, that program, uh, we work with Catholic Charities currently. So the uh, the amount that was expended in your in the policy report was about two hundred and fifty eight thousand. Was was part of that the hundred and forty six thousand for the capital fund program? Was it? Is that something different? The capital, capital fund is 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 different. Okay. So um, how much in terms of the two two hundred fifty eight thousand? I mean, how much was the city al allocated for this particular community development block grant? Just approximately. Um, this year we were allocated, let me just pull her up here, mm -hmm. um, $334,736. So the, so the delta there, uh, will that balance, I think I asked you this last year, will that yeah. roll over to it next does. year? It does. Okay. And, and part of that, um, part of that difference was that we didn't have as many people apply for the homeownership program, which I'm meeting tomorrow actually mm -hmm. with some bankers and some real estate agents and try to see yeah. where the break is in that kind of uh, program. And then the other one is that we just didn't do as many demos as we had anticipated okay. that we would do um, because they were given 90 days or whatever. So it made them fall within the next year. So next year, um, which is actually currently ongoing but um, right. we may have we may have more than we had anticipated it's kind of an ebb and flow thing the other question I had was mm -hmm. there's a, a sentence in the policy report that said funds also provide landlord slash tenant re resolution to support decent safe and sanitary housing conditions for Leavenworth residents was any of the money used for that this you know this reporting year what we do is we work with um, welcome central Yep. We fund them directly okay. to right. do landlord-tenant resolution. And they have had some landlords. Um, it's primarily tenants that mm -hmm. come to that program, sure. but they have had some landlords right. who need some um, guidance in how to do the process of um, changing tenants. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, and so uh, Instead of having those individuals come to the city, right. we've in the past had Welcome Central do right. that. Now, the Don't city go. will have uh, someone uh, upcoming who who will be doing that, um, that area. Yeah, that, that's where I was going with yeah. this. I mean, and I think when, that'll be one and of the when that happens, I've already worked right. with Welcome Central that they'll continue to provide services until that happens. And when that okay. happens, they will be very... Um, they're going to be happy to <laughs> let go of that. <laughs> and so sure. um, okay. we will then reallocate those funds in some good, other good. area. Thank you. That's what I, uh -huh. that's where I was heading. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Anybody else have any questions or want to know about any of the programs that we offer in that? I'm always surprised when they don't take advantage of the first time home buyers. Me, me too. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's an awareness thing. We've tried doing rack cards and we've tried doing outreach programs and um, working individually with uh, real estate offices where I yeah. go and speak, you that know, makes, on their Tuesday sense. meeting. But, uh, but I, you just got to keep working at it. I think also part of the problem is that the uh, lower part of the housing market in Leavenworth is really tight right now. Uh, there's just not a lot of houses in that first time home buyer category where they're available at the price point that they qualify for. Okay, so. thank you. Yep, okay. But we'll yep. keep working at it. It's There's a good program. Comments.
there's no other comments, I entertain a motion. I move we accept resolution B2234, the consolidated annual performance and evaluation for community development block grant program. Second. Motion has been seconded. Begin voting with Commissioner Parsinger. Aye. 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 Motion carried, 5-0. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda, resolution B2235, 2019 Capital Fund Program Grant, Planners 2. This will be Andrea Cheatham, the housing manager for the Leavenworth Housing Authority. Hello. Um, each year, HUD requires us to submit documents um, so they can um, calculate the capital fund grant. It's basically calculated on the, your leasing rate, how many units you had available throughout the year. Um, I'm happy to say that Planners 2 stays leased up. Um, we know we have a turnover. If somebody moves out on the 31st, the unit is rented before the end of the, the next month. So with that being said, we are receiving the maximum capital fund grant. And we use this grant to do improvement for the building. That's great. That's awesome. What were some of the, and for, the, for last year, what were some of the major, and I know you came and, and just remind us, what were some of the major improvements? Um, actually, we're working on the same project. It's okay. going to be massive. We're replacing all the pipes from cast iron to PVC in the building. Mm -hmm. um, we were submitting specs and not getting them approved because of the fire rating issues with such a large um, structural um, so we're currently working with an architect and an engineer firm to get the, the correct specs to make sure everything's done properly and safely and up to code. All right. If there's no other questions or comments, I entertain the motion. I move, I move that we adopt, uh, the commission adopt the attached resolution number B2235 accepting the 2019 CFP grant for Planners 2. Second. Motion has been seconded. Begin voting with Commissioner Bowder. Aye. 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 Motion carried, 5-0. Thank you, ma'am. Next item on the agenda, Resolution B-2236, Capital Fund Program's Five-Year Action Plan and 2020 Capital Fund Annual Statement Performance and Evaluation Report. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it's regarding the funds we um, were received from them for the Capital Fund. Um, this is the report actually stating that we're going to be doing the pipes and what, you know, so, so HUD can see what we're doing with the money that they're giving us. And that report was approved by HUD already. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. There's no comments. I entertain a motion. Mr. Move. Mayor, I move that we approve Resolution B-2236 Capital Fund Program, the Five-Year Action Plan, and the 2020 Capital Fund Annual Statement of Performance and Evaluation Report for Planners 2. Okay. Motion has been seconded. Begin to vote with Commissioner Bowder. Aye. 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 Motion carried, 5 0. Thank you. Thank you. Resolution B 2237, Section 8, Administrative Plan. Should <clears throat> be uh, Pat Tooley to handle this item. This is just a housekeeping issue. We just. Uh, this is the actual thing that you guys are approving. Mm -hmm. What it is is it goes through the regulations of HUD. Did you go and through then, that page by page real quick? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it took me months. But, uh, and then any time that there's a gray area or something that they say you can do A or B, then we have to spell out what we do for each thing. So uh, it's from bringing people on to kicking people off and everything in between, how we do our job, and that's it. Do we, is this something we have to approve every year, or, or, or is this something that we're... Every, pretty much every month, I get something that changes oh. in the regulation, but it's always like, instead of light or dark pink, it's light red, <laughs> you know, it's just how they word it. But uh, if there's any ever any major issues, I'll bring that to Julie, who will return, I'm sure, take it to Paul, and he'll bring it for you if there's anything that we need to do. And, and was your office, the city's office that um, regulates and manages this program, was there some type of recognition in 2018? Did I see that here, or was that in a previous? I thought there was some type of recognition that the, the, the office had gotten. Um, Are you talking about the, um, the high performer? Yeah, oh. yes. We're, we're currently still, um, we still have the same grade. We're a high performer. Which is an rate. And the last time we got that was in like 2018? We receive it every year, so next year oh. we're going to 
Okay. Mr. Tule, would you re would you report uh, repeat <laughs> what Ms. Cheatham said for the TV <laughs> and for the uh, yeah? The, the no, nothing against you. You, <coughs> need to get it. you wouldn't be heard on yeah. TV. H HUD rates uh, each housing authority uh, for multiple things, and uh, we are a high performer. Uh, we have been a high performer since I've well almost since I've been there. When I took over, we were not a high performer, uh, but for the last eight years, we've been a high performer. Assume it will be that forever. Is high performer the highest rating? Yes, sir. Thank you. Do any do any specific benefits accrue to the to the office as as a result of this rating? Both of us can get larger amounts because of that. Yes, okay. sir. That's good. Good. Thank you for what you do. Thank Open. You. Yep. There's no other comments. I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor, I move that we approve resolution B twenty two thirty seven section eight administrative <coughs> plan. I'll second it. Motion has been seconded. Begin voting with Commissioner Bowder. Aye. <laughs> Aye. 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 Motion carried 5-0. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you sir. Next item on the agenda, uh, Commissioner Bowder, consent agenda. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. Um, after review of the claims, I move to approve the claims for September 7, 2019 through September 20, 2019, in the amount of $1,072,133.02. Net amount for payroll number 19, effective September 13, 2019, in the amount of $347,361.41. No police and fire pension. Second. Motion has been seconded. We'll begin voting with Commissioner Pricinger. Aye. 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 Uh, Aye. Motion carried, 5-0. Uh, we are at the end of our meeting. I just want to once again thank our city staff, uh, the commission, O'Neill and Events Marketing Team uh, for putting together a great event, uh, the Camp Leavenworth Festival. It was definitely a huge success. How many people attended? About 9,000. About 9,000 people, and it was awesome. So it was great. Uh, it was, yeah, yeah, that's something. <laughs> Definitely looking forward to next year as well. At this time, Commissioner Bowder? Yeah, the city staff is, I mean, always wonderful, but it was so clean. Yes, yeah. And having it enclosed, I think, made it feel very safe. I yeah. really enjoyed that. Anyway, um, I, I the only thing I have is, and this really didn't have to do with, with our commission right now, but I get a lot of calls from people asking again about transportation, and I just want everyone to know that there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes. We have several players in our community that we um, we have several that are several resources, and all of these things take time. And um, so, but it hasn't been dropped. It's still we're still looking into it, and we're still gathering information. And um, you know, that's all I can say right now. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Dedekind. I have nothing. Commissioner Griswold. No, I don't have anything. Commissioner Pricinger? I just want to echo what the mayor said and what we've all said about Camp Leavenworth, what a success it was. A uh, great family event, great community event. Uh, no issues that I saw. I was there both days at different times. Uh, parking, not an issue. People will walk, and we had, and there was a huge event at the community center right in the middle of Camp Leavenworth where 300 people <laughs> at a wedding reception. Yeah. At the community center, and everyone was accommodated. Yeah, um, so pretty happy. So, uh, you know, we do have the room downtown to help. And uh, I once again, commend O'Neill Events and Marketing. I hope that we possibly can enter into a contract with them next year to do it. It's uh, it was just an outstanding event, and uh, I think most people realize that 10th Avenue between Michigan and Limit is being worked on and I think the paving will start maybe Mr. Kramer can give us a little update may start maybe this week I don't know when it'll be complete but uh, it will be a, a fine road when it's finished <laughs> uh, just two things um, 10th Avenue the update on that is they swept the entire project today which is the final step to get all the loose uh, pieces down they will start paving tomorrow um, the plan is to uh, pave one lane at a time, so Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then they would be done with paving on Friday. Ahead of each row of paving, as they move along, they'll continue to fill um, some of the seams, some of the failed seams. 
uh, with asphalt ahead. Um, if they're able to finish by Friday, there'll still be about another week or so of work. What they're gonna be doing after that is cutting joints and sealing them, um, which uh, as we talked about when the project first was announced, that'll allow a little bit of movement and flexibility in the asphalt. And then of course striping will come after they're done with um, the joints and the ceiling. But if everything goes well, weather goes well, equipment doesn't break down, uh, we move ahead as, as we expect to, um, paving would be complete by the end of the day on Friday. Excellent. Good. Yeah. Uh, would the road open the next day or? Would yeah, it, it would remain open the whole time as they're back out there um, cutting saw, uh, sawing joints and sealing them and striping, there'll be again striping. more um, uh, control um, lane closures and stuff like that um, but it'll remain open the entire time is the striping supposed to be done on Friday or will that be no striping will come after they cut the cut the uh, new joints and seal the new joints so right. maybe by the end of next week they'll be okay. striping right. but um, that's fine so that's one of the next two kind of get an idea yep it's part right. of the project um, and then I didn't want to um, talk about another event just because I, I appreciate the way that they worked with us. The VFW is having an, uh, a concert down in the very similar area to the uh, Camp Leavenworth. Um, they had moved this around the community a couple of different places. Um, they had settled on Haymarket maybe during Camp Leavenworth and they were very good to work with and, and uh, I think we accommodated them so there'll be another event this weekend down at Landing Park. Um, we're only going to close the uh, north half of the parking lot, so those residents of the Stowe Factory Loft should can still park in the south part of the parking lot um, right there by the river. Most of the activities of this event will be on the other side of the fence. Um, we've been working with them um, and believe it's going to be a good, good event. I believe it's in uh, coordination with Suicide um, Awareness Month, so I want to thank the VFW for doing that and for working with us around Camp Leavenworth. That's good. It's awesome. And great job, too. Those basketball goals look excellent at Bob Doherty Park. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at this time, if there's no other uh, questions or comments, uh, motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. Motion has been second. Again, vote with Commissioner Browder. Aye. 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 Motion passed. 5-0. <laughs> meeting adjourned. <laughs>